If you need guidance on replacing your vehicle's crankshaft sensor on your 2003 to 2010 Acura or Honda 3.5 liter V6, this video is for you. This video includes a workaround which cuts at least 45 minutes off the book time of this job. Safely jack up the passenger front and use a jack stand. Remove the front passenger side wheel. Using clip pliers or a screwdriver, remove necessary clips for the lower inner fender well. Tuck lower inner fender well under the subframe out of the way. Crank bolt removal. The easy way, highly recommended. 19mm harmonic balancer socket for Honda. And you will need a good quality impact gun with at least 130 pounds of air pressure. The cheap way. This next part must be done with care or bodily injury or car damage may result. This is not a joke. Keep the breaker bar straight. If not, it could slip off. You have to use the crankshaft pulley tool, which can be rented at some parts stores, in order to hold the harmonic balancer in place while breaking loose the bolt. There is no way around this. I have found this setup to work the best. Insert the breaker bar into the specialty tool. Then we are going to brace the axle so that we don't damage it with all of the tension that's going to be placed on it when it gets broke loose. I use something like a pry bar to make sure the breaker bar stays straight and then a jack stand to hold the extension straight to the bolt. Just like so. This must be straight and level using a two foot half inch drive breaker bar. Keep an eye on the harmonic balancer tool because it does want to slip out from square. This is very dangerous guys. Protect your car. Move the mirror out of the way in case something slips. We're going to use a jack handle or a long pipe. Make sure to slide it at least halfway over the breaker bar. Don't use the door handle for leverage. I was using it to balance myself. This takes a lot of force. Time out. The amount of force that it takes to break this loose is substantial. If this slips out of your hands, or if we have to stand on it and then it slips off of our foot, not only could it do serious damage to the car, but it could do very serious damage to us, if not worse. This is no joke, guys. We need to take great care. If you're not familiar with doing something like this, proceed at your own risk. Remove the bolt the rest of the way and pull your tools out of the way. Let's remove the serpentine belt using a 14 millimeter socket and ratchet or an automotive serpentine belt tensioner tool. Push towards the firewall to release the tensioner. Pull your serpentine belt out of the way and set it aside. Now we're going to remove the bottom 12 millimeter serpentine belt tensioner bolt. we can remove the top 14 millimeter bolt on the serpentine belt tensioner. Pull the tensioner out and set it aside. 
This is our shortcut. There is no need to remove the power steering pump or the top timing covers. From the top, we can easily access three of the 10 millimeter lower timing cover bolts using a quarter inch socket and ratchet. Remove your harmonic balancer if you haven't already. From here we can access the four remaining timing cover bolts. Pull the bottom of the timing cover towards us, sliding it out of the upper timing cover groove. Remove the two 10mm nuts and the shield so we can gain access to the crank sensor. Remove the last 10 millimeter bolt from your crank sensor and then you can unplug it. Be sure to check for corrosion in the sensor and the wiring harness. I have corrosion in my terminals. In this case, the harness connector is also corroded, so it will also have to be replaced. If you have to change the wiring harness, it is located on the back side of the engine, attached to a bracket just behind the back cam cover. Here is an image of the lock that you have to push to get it unhooked. This is not easy to get to and takes some patience. Now let's reverse the steps and put it back together. Apply a light coat of dialectic grease inside the connector so that we will not get corrosion in the new sensor. Plug in and install the new crankshaft sensor. If you're replacing the harness, install it in the slot in the block. Install the one 10 millimeter sensor bolt. Install the timing belt shield and the nut and bolt. Tighten all 10 millimeter nuts and bolts. Install the timing belt guide ring. Insert the top lip of the timing cover and rotate it inwards towards the engine block. This is an unedited time frame of how long it took me to do this shortcut. Under a minute. Be patient working it into place. It'll go.
Install the 10mm bolts and the timing cover. Install the harmonic balancer and the crank bolt. Reverse the process to tighten the crank bolt. Torque to 47 foot-pounds plus an additional 60 degrees. When setting up, remember to take your time and make sure everything is square. Rest the breaker bar inside the chassis as shown in image. Attach half inch breaker bar. This is not as bad as breaking it loose. Plug in the crankshaft sensor harness behind the rear cam cover. Install serpentine belt tensioner and start the 14 millimeter bolt. Install the bottom 12mm tensioner bolt and tighten. Tighten the 14mm tensioner bolt and torque to 33 foot-pounds. Install your serpentine belt. I supplied a diagram for your convenience. Install your lower inner fender well clips. Install your wheel and torque to 80 foot pounds. Install your engine cover and reconnect your battery. Thank you for watching. If this video helped, Please hammer that like and subscribe button.